Don't take that as an actual endorsement of communism. That thing's been killing... God, hundreds of millions of people, and... Oh my god, I just had this working. I've been having a bunch of issues trying to get this thing to actually work today. And for some reason, my face rig is now just all sorts of fucky. Oh god, give me a second. Where is that? Oh, here it is. There we go, okay. Fantastic, it's working now. I had Mixer not working for the longest time for some reason. I don't even know why. Like, the chat just stopped connecting, it didn't start working, the website was glitching out like crazy. I have no idea why. This is Microsoft, this is a multi-billion dollar company who owns this thing. It shouldn't be glitching. Oh my god. Let's get rid of that. That was just a leftover recommendation from last night. Freaking wet night is communism. Although, to be fair, I can't judge him when I have an entire panel dedicated to <laughs> like, It's like, you know, yeah, let's just lower that to, you know, a couple hundred decibels. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so I, can't make, I can't make fun of him too much for that. Oh, fuck. At least it wasn't Little Tay or something like that from last night, or... Who, who is that 7k money? Where the hell do you find these people? Ooh, shit. Okay, you starting to stick again. No. That's not what you think. Don't you dare judge me like that. Alright, fuck it. So, you should be able to see this right now. Yes, you are. Alright. So, we actually did a couple of the seasonals already right here, but... For some reason, we have another seasonal dedicated to unguided rockets. Like, we haven't had a single seasonal dedicated to melee yet. And the thing is, I've been using melee extensively. And I think actually the shotgun is actually an improvement to the build. Even though it's an overall lowering of the power score. But yet somehow it like works better. Just having one melee weapon. Oh brother. F I, got I didn't mean to do wires. That's my PvE build. That does absolutely garbage. Ah god. Chase. I mean, the thing is, it might work with my, um, my spark, which actually does do a whole bunch. That, and it instantly explodes those barrels, so I, I should be safe. And look at that, we are starting to earn some profit here, but let's actually go ahead and put on another synthesis. Actually, you know what? I want to make, let's see, what is it? A quantum. Ooh, and that price of that quantum's going up. Well, yeah, we need to make that quantum, then. Let's see, that takes six hours to make, but let's see, you need two Genesis and two Pilgrims. Is that the most expensive item currently? Eh, no, an ore is up there too. An ore is really up there. Although it has some of the more expensive part. I mean, that's all the same price. But I can probably flip around the aura for a bigger profit. So two Genesis and Lunar Wheels ST? Lunar 5 ST. So we just need two of these plus the two synthesis plus two, what was it, wyvern cabins? You can easily make those. That stuff comes in bulk. We'll go and get rid of these extra radars that we have too. Cleaning up our inventory. Nice! Ooh, good. One second, let me turn on the music. I really need to get like a button for this. So they can like turn on the music whenever this starts. Ooh! A big clan here. Nice. Ooh, shit. Hey, but look at this. This is a deviation of the clans. This clan has a fixed amount of numbers. But uh, these people are actually doing real well. Yo, we're actually hitting it from here, though. Damn, that's sick. I probably should have made a faster vehicle. I mean, this thing weighs like 17 tons, so... I can't really blame myself too bad. Oh, I don't even have the spark on this thing, so that doesn't even work. Why did I do this? We're getting up there, though. And somehow Memoir died instantly. What the fuck was that? I was at the oil barrel guy again. 
I'm ready to get shit chopped off here. There we go, come on. Wow, everything's getting knocked off here. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure why I decided to do this. There's no way we're getting this done. I think by far, Chase has the lowest success rate, and why did I just waste like three bucks worth of shit on this? Uh, thank god I get this fuel for free. Because actually doing PvP along with PvE, best way to earn a profit. I mean, if you just flip on on and off, win a couple of matches, uh, play a hard raid, you actually earn the most amount of profit. Especially considering you don't have to deal with that 10% tax deduction. There we go. And this guy has dual reapers. Mm. And he's getting himself absolutely shrictaculated. Yeah, I'll just sit here staring point blank at this guy. As I say, as I do the exact same thing. Yeah, I already have that guy. He's already two down. So that means it's just those three. And I have to sit here and try to kill this thing by myself. I don't know, we're getting close. Although we're getting really close to my exploding barrel on the back of my car. Another half left to go. Yeah, there's no way we're going to do this. Especially considering that disarming these things is nearly impossible. Okay, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> how to instantly lose a game. Play chase. That's how you do it. Fuck it. Why do they even have this mode in here? Because I feel like every time I've played this, I've only won it once. Like, this is what the old data theft used to feel like. Where it's like, you can try to play it, but you'll just lose everything. Probably gonna scrap it too, aren't you now, Majestic? The old man with the goddamn beanie. And now they have to work on this thing. The thing is, Chase requires like an entirely different build set. Look at that, taking off all the fuel barrels. Off the door. Off. Oh. Fucking ants everywhere, and I don't even know why. My room is like devoid of food. The only thing I have in here is diet caffeine coke. Actually, no wait, I don't even have that anymore. We're all out of that. I'm starving here. And I think they actually might get it. Although to be fair, since I'm dead, I'm gonna earn nothing from this uh, entire thing. Cause winning while alive gets you the most points. Actually participating gets you about the third. Maybe a fourth, really. It's all about whether or not you're alive when it wins. If you're not, then you're fucked. More the points. Technically, I helped. I did do a lot of damage to the uh, first truck. Now, the second truck is the last one to live. Apparently, one of the easiest ways to win is to get a Cerberus uh, cabin and just ram yourself right into the front. And that I can actually see. Why are you doing that, you're literally putting the auger straight into your tracks. And now you've crippled yourself. Okay. Yeah. And bye-bye. And he actually has the Cerberus can, uh, car too. So what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to ram the front of the car. And he's going the wrong direction. I think he just gave up too. <laughs> Why even try? God, my bot has... My channel has so many bots in it. Literally, okay, let's see. Let's count how many bots we have in here. We have Gatherbot, Nightbot, Restreamio Bots, Zoss, Commander Rue, and Electrical Skeletal. So that's... Three, four, 
five, six bots in here. God. I can't imagine how much of, like, Twitch's processing power, especially for broadcasting streams, is just wasted on bots. Especially those who are just, like, follow-for-follow -follow bots or, you know, some crap like that. Hey, okay, so no more, none of this, none of that, no of that, no of that. <laughs> One whole electronic, I feel reimbursed. That means I got a hundred points worth of credits. That's fantastic. Alright, one second. I'm gonna get a drink real quickly. Because I'm thirsty. So one second, enjoy this music. All right, we're back, we're back. And let's see if we can get this camera working again. There we go. All right. So I had to get some refreshments here. Since the thing is, I don't have any, oh, Diet Cokes. I can't just, like, slide my chair back and get one from the fridge. No, 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 that's too easy. Oh, fuck it. So what do we have here? We have Gone in Two Minutes or The Last Convoy. Oh, it's the Scavengers, though. Versus the Lunatics. But that's gone in two minutes. Yeah, no, we're doing... Even though I hate the scavengers, they're easier for missions like this since a, there's not a lot of, uh... What are those called? Howitzes? Those little goddamn mandrakes that just destroy us. Much less of those. This is just the convoy that just, like, simply goes to an oil rig and blows it up, which... Why waste the Leviathan's worth of parts blowing up an oil rig? I mean, we used to be able to go to, like, an entire oil field and destroy them all. Mmm. I actually kind of like it. They gave us a free scanner for an entire day to celebrate the new times. Which I actually do effing love. That's 50% extra reputation bonus per game, which is absurdly high. I love it. We also get a bunch of stickers, too, which is actually not that bad, too. And it's a very short time event, too. So, while it will be a lot more common to actually have it around, we'll actually get those stickers that'll be worth a pretty penny. Oh, goodness me, what happened here? Roberto Clyde, okay. Okay, for a second, I thought it was like one of the one of those like bots. <laughs> those things are everywhere on uh, Twitter nowadays. Like, I don't even get it. I feel like, didn't Twitter do something about follow bots or like bots? And if you don't know what I mean, those are bots who just go to a, you know, some website that has a bot algorithm that just continuously likes other people's content. And at that point, you can have up to two or 20,000 likes. Why is this guy full spear build? Yes, congratulations, you destroyed one car instantaneously. The thing is, though, you have about an extra hundred cars to go destroy him. Thank God for these rockets, but I have no way to turn around and shoot this guy. I would love to get that mammoth balloon. I'm actually going to try to save my anniversary 
uh, accessory as long as I can. The thing only lasts a couple of days. I don't want to keep that in my inventory. It's like a token of my seniority. Well, literally the biggest ticket of seniority I have is probably the closed beta, you know, cabins and whatnot. Although I believe, you know, thousands of people have that. Ooh, shit, mandrake. Okay, good. It's not even remotely accurate right now. And anyway, it's the guys with the trucker cabin. Oh no, it's the humpback. I was gonna say, who the hell is using the trucker cabin? There we go. You know, what I actually find though the amount of energy the trucker cabin has is actually really low. Because the thing is, the humpback has. Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, eleven power. Same thing as the ice box. And the thing is, is that the trucker cabin has nine power. So it has three power less than its, you know, epic counterpart. And yet other cars that's similar to here, like the uh, bear truck and all those medium cars, they only have 11. So it seems like power disparities is actually quite prominent. I mean, the thing is that trucker cabin should have at least 10 power. Which you don't think is much, but you have to remember, that's a 10% increase in power, which can either be another relic, another melee weapon, another spear, along with all that extra power. Alright, one second. We have to, like, sit here and kill this clusterfuck of enemies. Okay, this is not nearly as bad as the lunatics. Just imagine this, but, like, seven times the spawns, and with three guns. I mean, that's probably what makes the lunatics deadly, is that they just have three guns. Yeah, they're weak. But literally, all they have to do is run up to the cabin, shoot it once, and that's like 3% of the HP gone. Oh, he's a ram and build. Well, they must be farther along in the seasonal than me. I actually need to do all the seasonals this time, including the scrap one. Well, I don't like doing the scrap one, it gets you quite a bit of cash. The thing is, I'm going to need to buy a shitload of fuel. I do love the actual increased aiming capacity for these things. You get a shitload of rockets per rally now. And wait, I did not see this. Did it go back to the screen? Yes, I did. I think that's all. Fuck yeah, okay, we're good. Yeah, I'm not too about this. You know, I might as well go ahead and kill him. I mean, these things get free elimination points, which give you more chances at electronics. And this is actually really good if you're on... Uh, say a spark build If you're on a spark build you actually get a credit for everything super easily Since technically you're doing a lot of damage to somebody, but it's like very imprecise. And you're not even going anywhere Ah, sorry to take a drink Maybe you just need to stop talking as much Maybe that's the key Makes it kind of makes sense you need to go up Alright, one second. Now this part used to be the bane on Convoy, when the old Convoy used to exist. I mean, the amount of enemies that spawned in here, regardless of your faction, was stupidly high. But loons were the bane of my existence here. Although that was corrected as soon as you got the Convoy Carrier, those ancient vehicles that had enough horsepower to actually pick up these convoys and haul them around like little toys. You maybe could do it nowadays. The thing is, but these Leviathans just way too much. And I think they actually fixed the physics on it so that you can't really do it. You may be able to harpoon them, but right now I think it's so you just get tossed around like a bobblehead if you try to move them. Oh, come on. Let's just let him sit there. <laughs> he wasn't having it! You know what I actually find out? That Halloween paint looks suspiciously similar to the actual green paint. Now you better not report me. Here we go. We don't need everybody at the truck. Come on. Turn the hell around. 
Ooh, and that guy has a spider cabin too. God damn, that thing looks sexy. The thing is with those spider cabins is that they're stupidly high amount of hauling capacity. I think right now they have like, what, 14,000? While the humpback has 19,000. Sure, the humpback does have a little bit more. But I mean, the spider cabin is realistically still the like prime dog choice. Sure, you may be losing a little bit of speed, but you're still fast as fuck. Especially if you're on spider legs. Oh my god. It's beautiful. 40% extra speed. I mean, the mobility at that point is stupidly high. Of course, you're rocking like a bobblehead, though. How about we get rid of that little nasty habit right there? Although, I wish this goddamn combo would slow down because it keeps passing all these spawn points like crazy. And this is when the convoy used to move a lot slower. I think they haven't updated the spawn points for this area. Because realistically, this should only be two instead of three. Especially when it comes to the loons. Ooh, yeah, I'm completely out of rockets at this point. And nothing has spawned in ages. There we go, just disarm. These scavengers have too much HP to be regularly killed. It's not like the loons where you can just sit here and fire one volley and you instantly kill seven of them. Alright, alright. None of that, none of that. If only we had the equalizer. There we go, that one's done. The pirate launchers I'm not too worried about. These we actually need to disarm them. The thing is, is that as soon as we get up there, we're going to have to start hauling off waves from the other side. So keeping all these guys at bay, I mean, half of them are going to blow up anyway. And they're all disarmed now. Oh, and I'm completely out of rockets right now. Oh, wow, they actually did explode. Yes! Finally, I get some fucking rockets. Just keep giving me that elimination. I'll take that precious scrap for me. Oh, if only I had my spark, I'd get those 10 electronic points again. The thing is, getting the 10 spark, as long as with the uh, flipping, it's not really a cheat, it's a uh, thing in the game that's a mechanic. But if you actually do the spark with flipping your ally, you could actually probably get 11 to 12 electronics per win. Of course, that requires you to flip your ally, which takes a stupidly long amount of time. Since you have to actually dedicate time to finding a ledge to flip yourself on. Hmm. It sounded like the thing was getting shot by a rocket. Oh, no, no, no. That's what it is. It's that one little peace officer back in the distance that's still killing us. There, let's peel that off. And you can go away too. Oh good, you can die. Alright, so that's fixed. Okay, we're all good now. Oh god, you little shit. Why do you keep firing rockets at me? I think, I swear these things have like seven times the HP of the classic actual vehicle. The Nomads are not nearly as beefy as this. I suppose that's meant to be the point, but they literally are the same vehicle design. Nah, 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 nah. I've been disarmed too many times by those things. Yeah, you might be kind of screwed there. And the other guy's not here, so he's earning nothing. This is another thing, is that the... Ooh, shit. Thank god, oh my god, that thing actually absorbed an entire executioner shot for me. Come on. Stop firing. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, he's dead. Hey, get rid of this. Come on. I don't, I don't want to be the freaking... Bottom bitch here getting executed. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. We just need to kill him now. 
Very nice. So it's actually, wait a second, I actually want to see how well do we do with their unguided rocket. Less than 9,000. We're still up there at the top of the ranks. That blows my mind. Hey, got the Dawn Children's now. Next is the fire starter. And this has strangely not been a single battle yet in over 20 hours. Yeah, let's go ahead and paint this thing. Just giant black of the brain. Very nice. Hmm, do I want to invite anybody here? Nah, fuck it. We're good. The last convoy. It's good money, and you get nine electronics per win. Which I'm actually curious. How much profit is that? Because right now it's 60 fuel per hard. Which is a lot higher than the one it is for normal. Hey, now the hell you doing? Welcome, child. Okay, so right now it's... Currently, 0 0.0529 fuel, so 60 times 0 0.0529. It currently is 3 bucks and 3.1 bucks. We'll round it to 3.2. 3.2 um, to actually do that, and you get 9 electronics. So 9 times 0.489. So currently, right now, you actually earn a coin in 0.2 cents if you just buy the straight fuel from the market. You also earn about 9 electronics per win if you just have the fuel by itself. So you can actually turn it into a hefty profit then. Nice, I haven't done anything for the copper yet. I do a nanny. And look at that, you're not on Twitch even though you're a, a big old subscriber on Twitch. Even though I gave that to people. I probably actually won't do that too much, because for some reason, even though I'm subscribing people to my own channel, I really don't get that much money back. I only get like two bucks out of the five I put in. So Twitch is keeping the other three bucks so that other people can have that one emote. Hell fucking no. But the thing is, is that I saved a bunch of money, because if you don't know, this is, um... What is this thing called? The Google Play Rewards. You get that and you use it for your Google Red subscription or your YouTube Red subscription. Save yourself a shitload of money. I could send you live stream. Yada. Nice. Thank you. Epic Death Race. I am on PC. I am indeed. I assume that you're on Xbox. I will welcome all here. Oh yeah, actually that reminds me. I should get in the Discord. Because I keep forgetting to do that. Because I'm trying to actually see right here. Did all of those payments go through to, for Twitch? Because I'm pretty sure my bank account is right now screaming at Twitch. Saying, are you fucking Russian hackers? Well, I can't tell because my phone wants to be stubborn here. Okay, no, it actually is working. Beautiful. Ah, I knew it. How's this everybody on Mixers from Xbox? Makes sense, because don't they make Mixer like a mandatory thing on that program? Is that guy legitimately that slow? Hello? <laughs> How are you that slow? He even has the big wheel tires. What the f*** is he doing? Okay, I guess we'll just never see you again. He'll just sit right there and do nothing. I hope he's not one of those people that's just trying to stay as like one of those bots that slowly moves forward. So that he can technically still get the uh, progression for being in here without doing any of the work. The thing is though, botting a game like this, if you bot uh, a hard raid, you earn no profit. Because the thing is, you will earn... Ooh, I'm trying to think here. Okay, good, he isn't a bot. I was going say, because if you bought this, I mean, you'll only earn at max, like, five or so electronics. Which wouldn't even get close to recompensing you for the three bucks you have to spend in fuel. How about we don't do that? These guys in hovers are actually extremely obnoxious. 
don't think they're actually helping out a whole bunch here. Here we go. How about we start getting this thing from dry humping the convoy? You know, I actually want to see one day where we actually had to transport our, our own Leviathans around. And actually have NPCs try to kill us. But not like a, a convoy that we, uh, you know, have to actually man. But like something that we have to create and man. So it's like your own little creation protecting you. Although I guess people with the, you know, shitload of relics would just be able to instantly win that. Woo! Dirty little Caprende, what the hell are you doing? Ooh, grab. That thing's hitting hard. No, 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 no. How about you stop doing that? How tough is that thing? Okay, grid. Hey, thanks for the follow, mate. It's strangely, Mixer has been an active place all of a sudden. The thing is, I wouldn't expect it because I always thought Mixer was a dead platform. And you know, you need to go away. There we go. And for those of you who don't know, I'm currently streaming on YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer, so if you see someone else's chat appear on screen, it's because of that. And where's that one guy? Okay, he's dead. We're fine then. Although this thing's already 55% down. Eee, oh, oh, thank god, okay. For a second I thought I was going to die again. Because actually, what are you? Yeah, we're on EU right now, that makes sense. All these goddamn Brit bongs on right now. Excuse me. Ooh, and that guy has even an Aegis Prime, too. You know, I actually strangely don't find that to be a useful item. I think maybe I could see it being useful in PvP, but... Even then, if you're just evasive enough, you're good. Or if you have a cloaking device, yeah, use that instead of a... Aegis Prime. I think it costs three or four grand. Okay, now I think we're good. Okay, and now we have two people who are permanently dead for the rest of the game. Fantastic. And one second, these guys need a dime. Otherwise, he will actually do quite a bit of damage. No, 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 no. Just stand right there. Alright, fantastic. Now we just all have to transport this. Thank you. And how did those people even die? I still have half HP, and I am like a quarter of their power less. I mean, this people, this person right here, close to 3,000 extra power score. How the f are you dead? Like, why would you even use a hover in a build like this? I mean, these things are so slow. I mean, this thing has, like, what? Ten tires. I don't think this thing's moving fast. I think he got time. At least this guy's still alive. We got one ally left. We'll bond together in this world, create the new child. Name him Ephraim. Or Zechariah. Last prophet of Moab. Hmm. No. So I think we'll be good here. I'm not sure if we'll be able to win this, though. I mean... Three people... Two people... And we're only halfway across the map. <clears throat> Maybe if I, like, absorb a lot of the bullet fire, we might be okay. Ooh, no, 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 no. How about we don't do that? Alright, good. He's focused on me right now, so we'll just focus on you. Although it took the entire outside of that back cabin. This thing right here, if you could actually move, would probably be the deadliest thing here. Ooh, that Aegis Prime. I see. Okay. I guess it makes sense for a hover build since you are so fragile that you would need something like that to actually keep you up. There we go, there we go. And I love that dual retro build right there he has. Now uh, this thing right here. This needs to go away. Alright, good. 
Because the thing is, those cannon shots each reduce the cabin by 5%. Hmm, okay, don't worry about that. Just disarm the last guy. Alright, we're good. Ooh, shit, okay. He's good, he's good. You know, if we actually had a spark, we actually might be able to do this a lot easier. But right now, this build does not actually accommodate such a thing. I actually kind of wish there was a limit here, because it's actually okay. Like, something you could stack. That would actually be pretty sweet, okay. We're, like, pretty much missing all of our power at this point. But we do have another respawn. Okay, yeah, right now we're missing all of our power. Because look at that. Now I have... Ooh, shit. Ooh, okay. Instantly come out of spawn to be one-shotted. I'd love it. And the thing is, I don't even know why that caused me to blow up so quickly. I have nothing there on the underside of my cabin that can blow up and be killed so quickly. What the hell? Alright, well, good for, good luck. I don't think any of us here will actually be able to help you. I mean, he's got all that nice light armor on there. Yeah, I think we're all screwed. <laughs> Do you ever play on Xbox or PC the most? Well, I mostly play on PC. I don't even have an Xbox. I haven't owned a console since. The last console I owned was an Xbox 360 so that I could play uh, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. That was my last, um, last Xbox experience. It's all PC all the way. Yep. And because the other two allies died so quickly, I mean, we're just kind of fucked. Because that's, that's the thing is, if someone dies early, you basically are doomed for the rest of the game. Yeah, don't even respawn. Don't even respawn. Yo, no, no. Well, the thing is, technically we completed our mission by delivering the convoy... To the destination to actually blow up on the oil rig. We actually did do it. Wow, two, two whole electronics. Wow. Even though we finished ninety or like eighty percent of that raid, we get two electronics. Okay. So apparently we came to the last convoy either because people are having epileptic fits of some sort. God. Okay, so let's see. And the copper is enough to actually earn. So I mean, we could do gone in two minutes. That's actually a quicker raid. Mm, nah. I don't know if we can do that right now because we're just wasting fuel. Let's just go back to Remestein. Although, I'm actually curious, should we just take off... Ooh. I'm tempted. Let's just go ahead and put on an auger instead. Or instead, I'm sorry, a borer. Maybe we can actually have that placed up higher, too. And I think we'll be good here. Let's just do this. Let's earn these Ys. Oh, actually, we may need to make another vehicle at some point. I am potentially thinking about maybe a track rammer build. The thing is, those require a hefty amount of power. Do we have something like that that could actually push out a lot of energy? Could do the Pilgrim. The Drawbreaker is much less speed. Oh, but it has so much more HP, too. I love the bear. It's just a good compromise all around. Actually, what is the stats on that? Oh, everyone's going for that tusk right now. The ghost, eh, not really. Where is that, though? That oh, was the bear, actually, not that popular? Okay, here it is. 
Eh, it actually has decent max speed. Although the power on this is actually very minimal. Okay, okay. I think it'll be okay. Although, what is this power score distribution? 10! What? Alright, that's getting... That's getting... A page. 10... Thousand... Power score. In a 5,000 power score game. Well, I'm gonna watch other streams. Well... See you later then. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. You know, I just get instantly shot. Okay. <laughs> Considering that I didn't even fire a shot there because I didn't even see the guy. <sighs> Fucking Lance builds. I don't mind them, but at the same time, it's literally if you become the target of them and you don't even manage to fire your shot off early enough, you basically just... Start and finish the game within two seconds. Alright, that's horseshit. Yeah, I'm gonna post this on the fucking Discord really quickly. I don't know, that's emojis. We don't need that. Documents. Where's that game at? Trying to remember. Cross out, cross out. Apparently this is all not actually in correct order. Hmm. Oh yeah, my games cross out screenshots. Here we go. I was going to say, where is this balancing coming from? I know the game has to have, uh, you know, filling out each roster, but literally that entire match would have gone better, besides not getting Lance, but if they just took out the 10,000 guy, wait to put him in a 10,000 game, and just gave us an NPC instead. Yeah, the NPCs suck, but they're better than having a 5k displacement like that. Holy shit. I mean, at that point, you might as well just give up. No point. Turn back. Give in. None exist at all. Hmm. I think maybe we'll have to play Rimworld soon enough. Because if this keeps continuing, you're going to get absolutely creamed here. Hmm. Take a look here. What is cross out looking like? Oh wow. Still a lot of those Russians on. Oh yeah, and I completely forgot to talk about the new patch. You know, it's actually as soon as this was done, we'll actually go over the new patch real quickly. I don't know if this is a good etiquette for anybody else, but um don't mention when you're going off to other people's streams so that you're a streamer yourself. That's just rude as shit. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see what you're going on here. Yeah, come in here. We'll be your little garden, guardian angel. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and sit here. Yeah. I mean, if he's not actually going to manage to do anything, then yeah, just go ahead and sit there and die. Okay, they're all dead too. Ooh, I did not see that in time. I could actually save the guy a lot of damage. Ooh, no gun for you. And why did he even commit suicide? You could have stayed alive and get all your fuel. What is he going to do with that little blumpkin? Where the hell even is anyone else? This is where radio would come in handy. The thing is, though, I didn't install any of that jazz just because. With that, and on top of that, the power score difference is actually not worth it. And, like, installing a radio and radar 
that gives you like what maybe 400 extra power scored and that'd be up there in the 6k range hell fucking no heck if I could just go to these fuel barrels I'd like to be up there there you go where are you at oh my god these fucking hovers oh okay I, damn I need to invest in those hovers the power of aspects. Does the AI actually have aspects? Damn. I guess it makes sense because all you really need is a duster cap and four hovers, and like you get like what three aspects with that. You absolutely peck the living shit out of people. But where are we? Oh, all the way back there. I thought he was just hiding in his base. All right, I think we're good then. Here we go. Let me talk about the brand new patch that actually came along here. Let's see. Where is it out? Uh, form. Not form. I actually just need to go across that website. It's actually. Okay, nope. <laughs> I just need to go to the news section. Thank you, thank you. So they got a new patch out recently. This is just 9.75. But really, there's only a couple things to actually note here. So uh, let me see if I can show you this for a hot second. Where is this at? There we go. So right now, you know, mostly congratulatory stuff. But you actually have a chance to get all three stickers. So if you guys are actually trying to play cross off right now, I would try to get in. Because right now, if you do up to... If you win about 30 games, or if I think it's if you participate in them, but I think it's if you win 30 games... You can get all the way up to all three of these stickers. You know, it's 5, 10, 15. But then you also get the, uh, if you get this two-step authentication, you actually get a free sticker that's unfortunately not tradable, so you don't really get a whole lot of value out of it. But you also get a free scanner right now, which, if you don't know what a scanner does, it actually gives you a daily quest for 20 coins, as well as 50% reputation increase uh, throughout any of these games, as well as getting rid of the scrap limit as well. But you really can't hit the scrap limit in a day. But the thing is, you get free 20 coins with that actual uh, scanner if you just completed. And it's usually just like, participate in 7 games and you get free 20 coins. So it's actually not that bad. And the other thing of note is that they adjusted the reload time of spike again. So I mean, they, it, the spike is still 3% faster uh, reloading time right now. Uh, but it also changed the rotation speed. Oh yeah, and they added a bunch of sounds, so really that's it. It's mostly like a hotfix, to be honest, rather than an actual patch. That's the only thing of note, though. They didn't really change anything else. So if you're, like, revving your engine to actually make a nice little cool sand there, then by all means, this patch is for fucking you. There you go, I think we're good again. We're just trying to get some fuel up to get the actual seasonal rewards done. Okay, so what do we got here? Ooh, this is actually a decently balanced match. There's still a high amount of power score variation, but not nearly as much to actually make an impact. It's not like, oh wow, this one person here has enough extra power score to have seven more aspects. Yeah, no, it would be okay. I was actually kind of like playing Storm Warning. Oh, sorry about that. The thing is, the charging port on my phone's busted, so whenever I, like, move it around on my PC, it just constantly spazzes out. I'm surprised this thing even still works. I've dropped this thing so many times that it should be beyond, by all accounts, broken. Hey, yeah, it still fucking works. Ooh, okay, it looks like someone has a porcupine. Hmm. I think we'll actually try to go after that guy who has the porcupine. So the thing is, we have the spark, so if the guy throws out any of those porcupine barrels, I'll instantly destroy every single one. Just spit on it, it works again. You know, considering that there's like a shitload of wax all over this thing, it, it probably would work. It probably would work. Ooh, I see a target. Uh, come here, puss puss. Feel the wrath of God. Because the thing is, right now, his reload speed's an extra 50% higher. 
So he actually can't fire that cannon for shit. The charger cables. You know, I think actually sticking at my fork in the outlet right now and like connecting it through that, I think it might give it a little bit of a charge boost right now. Fuck quick charge. Use your your reason. <laughs> no 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 no. Stay right there. Oh, that spark's so beautiful. Deny those people the suicides. I want that spark. Dude, go ahead and make it yourself, because that's what I did. I wasted all of my money crafting every single part for this thing. And it's worth it, I gotta say. Especially if you have two of these things, or three of these things, and use it in PvP. Stupidly good. OP against hovers. Well, the thing is... The thing is, you still have to catch the hovers at first, because this thing has such a short range. And those hovers absolutely ass blast me when it comes to speed. I saw him go behind this rock. He should be right here. Uh, come here, little boy. Yeah, let's get three days. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, he must be a chameleon. That must be it. All these people see him, though. Oh, there he is. The thing is, though, these things are actually really good against hovers. But it's really only if the hovers actually manage to... Or, like, if the thing actually manages to, like, latch on to one of those Icarus hover things and just detach it. Because then they're right there, instant death for that hover. And then we can just finish it up with a couple of ramming weapons. The thing is, though, if you get a shotgun with this thing, with the spark, it actually does a lot more, too. Because then you can just sit right there, place the spark on top, and just keep the people right in range while you just blast them with that shotgun. It's basically the equivalent of... What is that thing called? The Skinner? The little harpoon gun that you can fire into people? It's like that, but on steroids. Ooh, okay. I think we'll be good here. Look at that. No more 10,000 games. Oh, wait. Is this a ramp? Ooh. Oh, damn it. Does anyone else see this? What is this? <laughs> oh, he's almost on it. It's literally just a carrying truck. What? Someone here must be making videos. Someone found the YouTube selection. I know it's not Gromtech. Although I have no idea what actual Gromtech's username is. I think the guy is actually just trying to test it to make sure it could actually hold anybody. The thing is, though, is that you have to actually have enough hauling power to actually even carry anybody. That's where everyone just cripples themselves. Ooh, shit. Darn, 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 darn. Oh, that's right, I don't even have a shotgun anymore. Alright, screw it. I can't chase after him. You there! You shall be my bride. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Did he actually commit suicide? Ooh, wow, okay, wow. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get down this guy in a hot second. He's trying his best. You can hear that engine rev the hell up. Come on, detach the leg. Finally! It's like trying to ram a goddamn Goliath track. I think what the thing is, like, what, 1300 durability? And with this weapon pumping out about 100 damage a second. I mean, you got to be there for close to a minute just killing that thing. Ooh, wow. Look at all that fucking oil. The thing is, too, if you know about the hover meta right now with the Hurricanes plus the hover, this actually does a whole lot for you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Rammer ain't getting away. Tase that bitch. Because look at that, that 50% reduction on speed, that actually probably saved me. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. Yes! Hey, thanks for the follow. <laughs> it's better than the trick and strips one that just yells in your ear. God, there used to be an ear every time I heard that. Thank you, thank you. Ugh. That was beautiful. God, how we actually didn't. Ah, uh, look at that. Top of the leaderboards. He actually did better than the guy with the silver border. Does anybody know what that silver border's from? Like, is that from Clan Wars or something? Because I've never seen that. 
or rather never actually obtained it. And I've been on this game for since the close beta. It has to be something I don't know about. Or does that mean he's just like silver tier in one of the various brawls right now? Is it that? I have no idea. What is that vehicle? What the fuck? Is he just trying to be a truck all of a sudden? Because like, I'm pretty sure there's no benefit to frames anymore. The other thing is the frames can be shot through so my oil barrel keeps exploding underneath me. Keep moving that tubby. We'll be okay. Ooh, good. It looks like they're all just standing right behind. Nice, nice. Excuse me, excuse me. No! It's somebody trying to haul. He's doing a Goliath track thing. Nah, 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 nah. The thing is, right now, if he keeps throwing those porcupines out, he's gonna actually end up damaging himself. Oh my god, I hate this guy's build so much. This 1600 HP is gonna take ages to get through. Oh my god. You deserve to be burned in the fire. <laughs> Sir Knight. Yes, you are not here. Welcome all. We're the glorious chivalrous knights here of the Old Republic. As we all get ass blasted here by 17 different rockets. Whoo! The living hell is calling me from. Y Ypsilanti, where the fuck's that? One second. Calling in current reference to your credit card, do you currently own this type of credit card that everybody has? Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I think everyone's lost. This is a lost cause. I had to sit here and ram some guy with a Goliath track for 20 minutes. We need to get a harvester. Because the thing is, a harvester makes quick effing work with those Goliath tracks. Because you can just sit right there on that uh, Goliath track, and two seconds later, that thing will be right the hell off. The thing is, though, I don't have seven grand to spend on a harvester. Pay to win. Piece of crap. I'm just sitting here sucking up these wires like spaghetti, trying to get enough coin to actually make something. Oh, wait, 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 that reminds me. Is our faction producing? Oh, okay, five more minutes. So right now, what we're trying to do is that since we spent a shitload of money getting the max uh, workbench for this, we might as well use it, because look at this right now. $415. $400 for an aura right now. Oh, and we have all the good materials to make it. So literally, if we just make this thing and slap it onto the market, we'll be actually able to make something here. And then we'll make, I don't know, we gotta make a spark build with like seven of these things. Imagine a, a, a Leviathan with nothing but sparks. Just coming out of spawn on a hover build, and he just rams right into somebody. Just imagine how fast that person would be melted. Police in uniform, come here to tase you. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, this is actually a shitload of bots. We're gonna be good here. Well, this is actually a really low power score. I'm in the 4K range now. Ooh, let's see the clapping begins. Yeah, so it looks like they're all hovering right there. And all the Spanish people are out all of a sudden. Well, we see you. Nah, 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 nah. How about you come right here? Whoo! Okay, those those things are melting me. <laughs> I probably should have killed those real quickly. But that guy is perfectly dead. See, they're all... I, why is this build popular all of a sudden? Just a shitload of vectors plus hovers? The hover was nerfed by 25% of its damage. 
How is this thing even remotely popular? I gotta see the chords make a comeback here. Hmm, okay, okay. Is this going to work? Hmm. At least it's not like one of those quadro uh, type of vectors. Is in the low power score to here. Mm, okay, okay. What else do we got here? Ooh, Hurricane. These guys are completely useless against me. If you don't know anything about the Spark, any type of rocket that's fired at you, you can instantly blow up. The towers are a little bit more sketchy and you can't get those unguided ones, but other than that, I mean, Hurricane's defeated. Oh, it looks like I might need to go soon. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I think that actually might be my cue. <laughs> so, you know what? We'll have to call it to you. We'll have to call it to you. And sorry for the abrupt ending. I did make. I did say this was going to be your short stream, so... I want to thank you all for joining me this evening. If you had fun, make sure to follow whatever platforms your favorite. YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer, because we are streaming on all three, by the way. Although Twitch notifications do appear on stream. Other than that, there's Discord down below as well, social media links if that's your gig. But I think other than that, we'll call it good. And I want to thank everybody who followed today, because I think remember correctly... Who is that who followed... Herbal cakes. Thanks for the follow, man. And welcome to the, the knighthood of some sort. I have actually have no idea. I haven't come up with a branding for this yet. So I want to thank you all for joining me. And that, fuck, we lost. <laughs> Good day.